post-operative instructions, jaw surgery, surgery, hospitalizations. After your surgery, you will be allowed to recover in our office most of the day, and at that point, you will either be discharged to go home or pre-arrangements will have been made to transport you to the Conway Regional Medical Center. Swelling. There will also be a dressing around your head and jaw area that has a cooling pad inserted within the head wrap. There is an ice chest connected to this cooling pad that must be plugged in at all times and must have fresh ice maintained so that the cooling pad is working properly. It is important to make sure the cooling pad is working properly so that the swelling can be kept to a minimum. The head wrap and dressing will typically be removed the day after surgery. However, in some cases, the dressing will be left in place for two days. Swelling can be minimized by keeping the cooling pad in place for one to two days after surgery. Swelling usually peaks on or about day three or four. The swelling can be fairly dramatic after some jaw surgeries. We recommend that you keep your head elevated on two to three pillows or in a recliner for up to a week or so after surgery. Swelling may take several weeks to resolve completely. Pain. If you are transported to the hospital, you will typically be on a pain pump that will allow you to manage the pain at your own pace. If you are discharged to go home, you will need to take the pain medicine by mouth, which typically comes in the form of a liquid. You will also have an antibiotic to take for about one week. It is important not to blow your nose for approximately two weeks if you have had upper jaw or nasal surgery. Judicious use of the saline nasal spray is recommended. We typically prescribe a decongestant nasal spray as well. We may ask that you take a steroid dose pack after surgery. We require our patients to take probiotics while taking antibiotics to minimize some of the complications associated with antibiotics. Please remember that adequate hydration is a very important factor in minimizing nausea for the first several days of recovery. Pain medicine can also make some patients nauseated, so it is best taken with something in your stomach to minimize this risk. It can also cause itching, but typically this will not be in the form of an allergy, but as a side effect of the medication. If you experience itching without the development of a rash, then you may want to decrease the dose of pain medicine and consider taking some Benadryl. Diet. We ask that you maintain a no-chew diet for approximately six weeks. We will provide you with a copy of Dinner Through a Straw, which will provide you with nutritional recipe ideas for after surgery. It is possible that you may lose several pounds after surgery, 10 to 15 pounds. However, eating frequently, taking in plenty of protein supplements and increasing calorie intake can minimize weight loss and improve your ability to recover quicker. Care of your mouth. Typically, we will clean your mouth when you come in for your follow-up, usually one to two days after surgery. After cleaning, it is mostly your responsibility to keep your mouth clean. Then it is important to get a soft child's toothbrush and begin brushing the outside of your teeth as soon as feasibly possible. It is important to start doing warm salt water rinses as often as possible after surgery. We recommend doing this at least three times per day as soon as you can. This should consist of one teaspoon of salt in eight ounces of warm water. You may have rubber bands on your braces after surgery and we will instruct you regarding these. In rare cases, your teeth may be wired together after surgery. If this is the case, you will need to always carry your wire cutters with you in case of an emergency. Employment, school, exercise. You may need to take at least two to three weeks off work and or school for your surgery. Most patients feel fairly good after about two weeks of recovery. But because of the dietary changes, it may be as long as six weeks before you have most of your energy back. Strenuous exercise should be avoided until you have all of your strength back. Certain contact sports, which could result in trauma to the face, such as football, basketball, etc., should be avoided for three months. Post-operative conditions. Swelling and or tenderness in one leg should be reported. One risk of surgery is blood clots that can develop in the leg. Follow-up appointments. Please attend all of these appointments because they are very important to your recovery.